All right, and Facebook, we are live there too. Just need a couple more minutes of setting up, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. minutes. Hey, Pat. Almost ready, man. We are ready to rock and roll. All right, so I am by myself operating in the whole the whole thing. So I'm going to sit down. 
Hope that's all right. Get myself situated here. All right. Welcome to episode 33 of Feast with the Beast. Um, it always amazes me, right? Every time now I'm saying in the 30s, right? So um, Pat is on the phone and he's going to help me field questions because there is no way I can see the questions all the way back there. Let me hit that just, just in case. All right. Now, normally what we do is um, we talk about doing like uh, appetizers on the grill, hors d'oeuvres, or, you know, things that you normally don't think to do on the grill. But this week we are doing an episode on beer can chicken. Now, we just put an ebook out. It's free. It's called uh, Beer Can Chicken Secrets and Recipes. Uh, you can go to beercanchickensecrets.com, download a copy of it. It's free, like I said. There's also a link in the um, in the description of this feed. So um, here, let me let me do something right here. Um, damn. I don't know if that blocks too much of the uh, I'll do that later so all right so anyway um, what I did is I actually put one on um, at 930 Central this morning here hold on I gotta grab one thing Got my bear can chicken secrets book. All right, so what I did is I printed out a copy of it just so um, I can kind of show people what is in you know what is on it, right? So we're gonna do a recipe, and I'm telling you these recipes are kick ass. Um, in these recipes, they not only give you a rub recipe that you can put together from scratch. Now you you know you can use your own rubs, whatever favorite rubs you got, or if you can put rubs together, it's all cool. But there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to put their own rubs together, so we put some cool rub recipes in, and then also the aromatic um, that pairs with that rub recipe. So, oh shit! Sorry, people. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's my blooper of the day. So, anyway, um, <laughs> welcome to episode 33. Anyway, so uh, so I printed out a copy of the ebook so we can show people um, kind of like little sections that's in it, right? And one of the sections is it's got I think it's 15 recipes that are rub recipes, aromatic recipes, and 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 things like that, right? Um, I put a chicken in at 9.30, so it should be done. If somebody could let me know when it's 10.30 so I can check it. It should be right about an hour. It's a, like a four and three quarter pound bird. This is a little over a five pound bird here. And this bird actually looks way healthier than that one. It's amazing what a pound does. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying a uh, a healthy drink for you this morning. I got my regular grapefruit juice and um, it is already, I'm already sweating. So the ingredients for um, for this is, okay, I have uh, it's a tea, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one and a half teaspoons of pepper, two tablespoons of uh, brown sugar, uh, I think it's a teaspoon of cumin. Here, I'm gonna read it right off of here. Uh, no, it's a half a teaspoon of cumin. It is uh, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, um, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a uh, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of chipotle chili. Right here. All right, and then. For the aromatics, we have a diced up onion. I don't know if you can see that or not. 
and we have a crushed garlic toe. It actually says clove in the thing. I should have wrote toe, so I'm going to have to edit that. Um, and then it has, we have a sliced up um, red chili pepper, uh, dried, right? So that's all of our ingredients. And then we also have a yingling beer to put in that bad boy. Uh, we have our beef roaster right here. Um, you can see the box right behind me over here. Yeah, right over there. And uh, we got our five pound chicken, right? And if you already downloaded the ebook, um, you can go to the, the recipe that says peppered smoke, and that's the one I'm doing. All right, oh yeah, and then we also have two tablespoons of butter and uh, some olive oil. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, nah, that comes out of there, right, is, this is like such a simple recipe, right? Um, now I just kind of had this sitting on here just so it kind of looks kind of cool, right? Let me take my drink. Pat, do we have any questions or comments? All right, so, yeah, yeah, put a link up to, uh, uh, actually there's a link in the description also, but I'll go put a link in the uh, comments. It's BearCanChickenSecrets.com. So, um, uh, first, uh, if, if you could share this feed, it would be extremely helpful. Uh, if you could like it, share it, and all that good stuff, right? Um, and I'll ask uh, people to do that. The flies are trying to get to my stuff, so I'm waving them away. Um, so last night, I actually pulled this bird out. I dried it down really good. Uh, it's, if you know how to get crispy skin on a chicken, um, it's good, right? And, and you just, it's, it's all in the preparation, and if you can prepare it like 24 hours or more ahead of time, it's even better. But um, this was late last night, and I started preparing it. And I didn't do like my normal uh, crispy skin um, type stuff, which is uh, bacon powder and salt. Um, but what I did do is I dried it out real good. I rubbed it down with a little bit of salt, and I set it just like this, which is in the cone that comes with the, the uh, beef roaster, right? And I just kind of set it like that on a cookie sheet and uh, in the refrigerator, both of them, and I took them out this morning, dried them off some more, which that's what I'll do again, especially it's very humid out here. So, that's good. Yep, that's all real smoke. All right, so look. So uh, I'm gonna take the cone out of this bird and uh, we're gonna get everything. Well, actually, let me do this. Let me move this over to the side. Wipe this off a little bit. Let's take and uh, mix all of our ingredients, okay? So first we're gonna throw our, our brown sugar. We're gonna throw our pepper, salt, Oh, so humid out here. Salt sweat. All right, we got our uh, cumin, our uh, onion powder. Yeah, all this stuff is trying to stick. All right. Actually, let me do this. Onion powder. We have uh, smoked paprika and uh, the uh, chipotle chili powder. Okay, once you do this. You need to mix it all up really good, right? That's gonna take you a minute because you wanna make sure you get a really, really good blend here. And then in a minute, we're gonna take a third of that and we're gonna mix with the butter. And we're gonna make like a paste, okay? And then 
the rest of it we're actually going to mix with olive oil. So we'll have two different kind of things going on. Alright. Alright, so I don't know if you can see that really good or not, but that's good enough. Alright, so we got it mixed up really good. Alright, so now you want to take like a third of this, which, you know, you can just eye it up and just throw it in there. Now this is where it's going to get messy, right? So right here, we want to take our cone out and one of the things you need to do whenever you want crispy skin on any kind of poultry is you want to loosen the skin up, which is basically you just take your fingers and you run it up between the skin and the meat. Try not to tear the skin. If you do, just make sure you have a couple toothpicks around and you can kind of pin that skin together so it doesn't uh, shrink up. And So you want to get like all around the legs and all too. Like really get up in there, right? That way you can push all that seasoning all around everything. Top of the breast. What time is it, Pat? You need to keep track of the time so I don't. All right, so that bird's been in. Yeah, so that bird has been in the 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 grill for um for right around 50, 45 minutes probably. All right, so like you want to even if you can reach up and loosen it up around the wing, it'd be good too. But you can get the wing better from the back. All right. And then you flip it over, do exactly the same thing on the back. See, you can kind of get up under there, down on the thigh. This is such a quick, like, once you do this, it's going to be, like, almost done. Like, this should be done about the same time that thing's ready to come off. Really close to it. There you go. Right, so you can see the uh, skin wants to really stick right back here. So you know, there you go. All right, and then reach around the leg, thigh, all that good stuff. All right, so now you want to take and you want to mash and mix all of this season in with the butter you form like a paste no sense trying to use a mixer or anything like that because you're gonna get your hands in this anyway because you got to get all this all this goes up underneath the skin okay so you got what's that pet Uh, wooden boards are actually more sanitary than uh, other boards, so um, I've been doing this for years, and I've never gotten sick from putting uh, poultry on a board. Uh, I do clean my boards. Um, I, I put um, lotion on them. And anyway, all right, here you go. So now you just start shoving this seasoned butter up underneath the skin right like it's gonna feel like you know because your hands are gonna be all gooey you're gonna feel like it's not getting in there but it's getting in there all right so just like I said get up under there as far as you can get up into the wing the thighs the legs the breast this again all right yeah all right and then back down here and use it all so now this next step where I mix it with the um, the olive oil so you could do that two ways you could actually mix all the seasoning with like four tablespoons of butter or you can do a third of it with uh, two tablespoons of butter 
and so you have the option where you can rub the whole thing down with the same paste. Like I'll put some of this on the inside too. All right, so look, um, now I get like, um, especially amazing other companies I talk to and they wonder why I do this live because not very many people do stuff like this live. Um, I'd want people to see what the real mistakes are and um, well I mean I make mistakes on here all the time right and then everybody else can learn from those mistakes all right so look I have used pretty much all that and put a little bit down the back I don't know like I talked about this the other day a lot of people don't there's a ton of really good tender meat in that back so make sure you do not waste it. Okay, look. So at this point, it's easier if you put that bad boy on the cone, right? Um, look, you can see here, the uh, this locks in place, right? I'll go over that in a second. All right, give me some paper towels. What time is it, Pat? All right, let me check this other bird real quick just to uh, make sure I'm not overcooking it. Right. All right. So, let me check this other bird. So the bird is not quite done. It's at like 125. So it needs to get up another 40 degrees, 35 degrees or so. Um, so just like I said, it should be right about the same time when we're done with this. Normally I'd have gloves, but I'm actually out of gloves. And uh, we actually have a shipment that is showing up any day now. Um, okay, so I have the rest of my uh, rub mixture right here, and like I said, you could you could mix the rest of this with butter or uh, olive oil. Um, because I had the recipe set up with olive oil, that's so that's the way I'm going to do it today. But um, I do it both ways, so you can kind of now you can do that two different ways too. But to me, this is the better way. You can uh, coat your bird with the olive oil and then sprinkle seasoning on it, but I'm going to tell you now, it goes a lot easier when you do it this way. All right? You want to make sure you don't give, you know, you just do it a little bit at a time, get it to where it's just soupy, right? You don't want it to be too clumpy because then it won't rub. All right, a little bit more. A little bit more. These flies are liking it around here right now. All right, almost. See, look, it's now it's a thick paste. I don't know if you can see that or not. But we want it just a little bit runnier than that. I think this is good all right so now you got like uh, olive oil and rub paste and now you just you just take it and rub it all over I wish I could stand up so then you just rub it all over Look, and there's going to be parts where you're thinking, oh man, there's not that much on there. It's on there, right? Because it's all mixed in with the oil. 
just because you don't have clumps there doesn't mean you're not like leaving seasoning behind. You don't need it to be all clumpy. You're not trying to um, have burnt seasoning all over the place. See? See how convenient it is putting it on this cone? It's like, it is. It, it makes it nice and easy. Because I know, like, without this, you're like seasoning it, you're flipping it over, and as you flip it over, the seasoning does get rubbed off when you're cutting boards or whatever you uh, use. So make sure you massage this. So like, as you're doing this, it's also like moving that seasoning around that you, you put underneath the skin. There we go. We are. Dude, this is part of, oh my God. This is gonna be beautiful. I wish everybody could be here for the finish of this one. It's probably gonna be better than the other one. All right. <clears throat> All right, so let me put the rest of this. That is beautiful. All right, you see that honey look that it has? How's that look on the camera there, Pat? Um, and do we have any questions from anybody? All right, so. Yeah, so we're using the, uh, now this, this, um, this bear can chicken roaster will work with uh, a Weber. Um, this is actually the uh, Rectech Bullseye. It'll work with um, my pit, pit boss. You just need, I think it's eight inches of clearance, depending on how big your bird is, right? That's going to make your, your determining thing. But I haven't done a bird yet that did not fit. Okay, so the last step for this recipe is you take a few lime wedges. Now I'm gonna tell you now, when you cook this, where these limes are, it's gonna eat through the skin. But it's also gonna add flavor and help tenderize those breasts. And then you take the cap of your lime and you plug up this hole right here and what that's going to do, it's going to force the aromatics to go into the meat, okay? And if you have the um, Bear Can Chicken Secrets ebook, then you already learned this, and maybe you already know this trick. I know most people do not. There we go. All right, so we got that in there. This is beautiful. Now, <coughs> let's slide this to the side right here. Let's bring up this. This is the Bear Can Chicken Beef Roaster. Now this is, um, it's stainless steel. It is, um, it's versatile. It has many uses. You can do more than just beer can chicken. You can do beer can duck. You can do wine duck, you wine chicken, soda chicken, soda duck, uh, small turkey, turkey breast. Um, you take this cup out of it and it becomes like a vegetable roaster or a um, seafood roaster or whatever you don't want to fall through the grill grates. It's that kind of roaster, right? And if you see, right, and if you have skewers, you, you have little notches, you could actually do a chicken and skewers at the same time or whatever. Um, it has little notches or a little, um, like a key that's built into the bottom of this stainless steel cup and it goes into here that way your bird won't fall over I know I've seen with um, other types of roasters or if you just put it in a can um, the can it can all just tip over and kind of screw things up all right so in this can we want to put our diced onions Say that again. Oh, that's so I do. My, yeah, so that's a good question. Here, hold on a minute. Um, so the uh, then I put my crushed garlic, and um, we are going to put. Um, let me find out. I'll use this. So and then we want to put all of our seeds and everything of our um, our uh, red chili pepper. 
all right it's all sliced up got everything in there so um, I do my chickens minimum 325 but I find that um, the closer you are to 400 425 the better your your fat renders and the more likely are you are to have uh, crispy skin um, okay now hey it's beer time so you just take one of your beast tools because pretty much all of our beast tools have a uh, bottle opener pop the top you don't want to fill the whole thing all the way up. This holds, uh, I think it's 10 ounces of liquid, but you only want to fill it like halfway up because once this starts cooking, it's actually going to fill up with chicken juice too. So you just want to pour like half of it. A little bit more. Yeah. All right. So we got that. Yep, so Doreen just joined and uh, she did win the Grill Beast Chop Challenge. Um, so, and she's getting a barrel house cooker plus some beast gear. All right, so look, at this point, you already have, so you can do this two different ways. Like, if you didn't prep the chicken on top of the cone, you would put the cone in here like that and then set the chicken on it. But since you already have the cone inside the chicken, you just pick this bad boy up and shove the cone down in there. And that's it. And then you just want to make sure. There. You see you got the, the breast plate right there. You want to make sure that's on the outside. And same thing with the tailbone. You want to make sure all those are on the outside. And you just prep it up. Let's see here. There we go. Tuck your wings back there. So it kind of looks like he has a little bit of an attitude. Spread everything out so you can let some smoke get around there. And this bad boy's ready. All right. So let me uh, wipe my hands really good. Let me drink and check the temperature of this chicken. But we are basically done. All we got to do is wipe that board off, flip it over, and. Um, Yeah, well, I don't want to mention the, uh, the other new ones. But we'll talk about the chicken roaster a little bit. Okay, so let me go check this, uh, check this bird out. Yeah, so we have some prizes to give away too. What did I do with my thermometer? We actually have a couple more minutes. We're uh, about five degrees off. So, um, we do have some prizes to give away for last week. Uh, so yeah, while we're talking about this, if you could share this video, that'd be awesome because we give away prizes. We give uh, a random, so we take and pick somebody random who shared our video and they get a prize, which is basically, you get your choice of any one of these uh, Grill Beast products back here. Um, and then we also pick the winner of who shared it the most in the most places like you can't share it 20 times on your own feed um, the, the, the most places you share it we'll count them up and whoever gets that wins also so we have two winners for sharing so if you could share the feed that'd be great um, how many shares we got right now Pat All right, so so far we have like around 60, I think, shares. Um, I think last week we had, the last I looked, I thought it was around 120 or something. So, uh, so but this is pretty normal. So throughout the week we'll get more. Um, so 
Our random... Who is it? Alright, so our random winner for last week, Sharon, is Kevin Strawn. And then the most shares goes to who? Who? Jennifer Bates. <laughs> the winnest, the winningest woman in in uh, Girl Beast. No, I'm just kidding. So, um, no, she. Uh, we really appreciate the uh, support. And uh, so Jennifer, actually, we owe Jennifer a couple prizes now. She already has everything, um, but she doesn't have some of our new stuff. So that's where she, she's getting new stuff. Um, and then uh, what did you say, Kevin Strong? So in Kevin Strong, um, contact Pat. And we'll get you hooked up with any of these uh, Groby's uh, accessories that you want. Um, if oh, so last week we did a grilled strawberry shortcake. Um, I had a couple little things go wrong, which is okay, no big deal. Shit happens, um, and so I offered it out. Hey, whoever does uh, my recipe or whatever I do on on uh, Feast with the Beast and post it in the group. I will make a choice on who I think did the best, and uh, they win. So, just so happens, now we did have a handful of people do it, but I, I got to give it to um, uh, Rob Tuffy. Rob Tuffy knocked it out of the park. His was so beautiful. Um, I wish mine looked as good as his did. Uh, but, um, so Rob Tuffy, uh, you get a choice of whatever you want to do. And Rob is actually an admin. Uh, but if you go look at his his uh, his submission or his entry, uh, it is uh, far out, man. <clears throat> uh, another thing, if you want the ebook, uh, Grill Beast Secrets, I mean, Beer Can Chicken Secrets and Recipes, go to BeerCanChickenSecrets.com. You can download that for free. Um, if you are in our Grill Beast VIP Facebook private group, um, we have our taco, our grilled and smoked taco challenge is throughout this week, but you cannot submit your entry until um, Saturday and Sunday. So 12.01 a.m. Saturday morning, you can start submitting. We'll have directions on the banner of the group exactly what to do. And basically what that is, is you submit your entry as a comment on that banner picture. That's the best way for us to keep track of it. Um, and if you're not in the group, go to Grill Beast VIP in Facebook and you can be in the group and be in the challenge. And so the winners for that, uh, first place is a $100 gift card, second place is $50 gift card, third place is $25 gift card to GrillBeast.com. We also had um, the guy who runs or owns Cajun Grocer, Cajun Grocery. Um, he is, I think, uh, donating a $40 gift card to the winner. And Tuffy is donating some of his uh, smoked salt and uh, seasonings to the winner. So, and we'll probably have a couple other uh, people volunteer some, uh, some, some prizes. Last week we had um, Brady, Brady Boy Prentzels, uh from... Who gave us the Brady Four Pencils, Pat? Todd Kern. Todd Kern, I'm sorry. So Todd Kern donated that. Then Tuffy donated some seasonings. Um, Doreen, uh, Dr. Doors Seasonings, donated seasonings to every one of the winners. Um, Barrel House gave uh, the first place winner, I think it was $100 uh, off on a smoker. And I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Um... Let me check this bird one more time. It should be about ready. We are right about there. All right. So what I'm going to do is let me move this over to here. Then I will wipe this down. Okay, so let me wipe that down. And 
right, so I'm going to actually put the bird on the other side of that. We'll put the, uh, we'll put the um, roaster on top of that one. So we're going to burn up my uh, thing. Put my beast armor on. So you can see here, my skin did tear right there, but you can see how, look how great that skin looks. All right, let me put this one on. Bye-bye. All right, so we're gonna let that, we're gonna let that rest a little bit, and then we will uh, actually you know what I'll do? Let me remove this. Oh man, it smells good. So here, I uh, this is the back side of the other board. So see that cone works for that too. And if you can if you can see inside here, I don't know if you can or not. Can you see all that liquid still in there? Right? I don't know if you can see it or not, how good you can see that. But like it doesn't dry out. And like that is full of chicken juice and flavor. You could actually make a gravy out of that. Or you could just uh, drizzle that on top of your, your meat. Yes, yeah, so look at the juice just dripping out of that thing now. Right, so we're gonna let that uh, air out just a minute. Take my gloves off. So you just want to take, get rid of your uh, your lime. You see, I had to put a couple toothpicks in here, trying to keep it where the skin ripped, trying to keep it from uh, shrinking up on me. And that didn't do a good job, but hey. It's a good looking bird. Um, let me get some ice. Does anybody have any questions about anything? How many people are on? All right, cool. So we've had a pretty good showing today. Um, I hope people will download the uh, ebook. Um, the, ch the, ch the chicken roaster is actually. Um, or the beast roaster is actually available on the website now. You can get some ice. In a second, we're going to uh, <clears throat> we're going to cut we're going to cut this bad boy up. All right. Oh yeah, he is a ketchup kid. So Jeff is in uh, in our group, and uh, everybody knows he loves his ketchup. All right, so so I'm using the uh, pepper smoke recipe. Uh, it's in the ebook. It's on eh, page ain't numbered. I wonder what that is. I have edited. We have. I say I. We have edited this book at least 30 times. So, um, we'll edit it again. Oh my God. I've eaten uh, so much chicken. We have, and actually, I mean, it, none of it's going to waste. My older, my second to the youngest daughter uh, loves chicken. So she could eat chicken every single day. And um, my, uh, my youngest daughter is um, pretty much tired of chicken. And me, um, that smells so good. And the skin is, is fairly crispy. But I mean, this thing is so juicy and it had, um, 
that's the whole thing. Like when you do a beer can chicken, it is so juicy. Um, sometimes it just covers the cutting board in juice. So who? What? I don't know who that is. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. That's the yes. Yeah. So uh, Richard is uh, the owner of um, uh, or uh, partner in uh, Cajun Grocer. So yeah, they're they're donating a forty dollar gift card to the winner of um, the taco, the grill taco challenge. All right, so it still needs to rest another minute. All right, so you should let a bird rest like 10, 15 minutes. I don't know how long this thing's been resting, but I am like, I'm like chomping at the bit, trying to. Wow. Wow. So this neck, in case you don't know, has so much good meat in the spine. Mmm. Oh my God, that is delicious. We're, cut, we're getting in this bad boy now. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting anymore. All right, so. Ow, 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 ow. So you take that bad boy out, toss it aside. Now, watch, this thing is gonna literally almost fall apart. Take so all I'm gonna do is cut the skin just to loosen it up, and then this I'm telling you it just kind of like right there, right there. All I had to do is cut through the skin. That's it. Look at that. I don't know if you can see how beautiful that looks. Same thing. You just got to get past that. Where's where's that? Okay. Right. Look at all that juice. Right. We don't want to waste it. Let's get that some of that on. Look at that, man. And look, and the skin is. It's not perfectly crispy, but I tell you what. It is perfectly tasty. And to me, that's more important then whether it's crispy or not so look then I just cut right down through the breastplate okay this bad boy's still hot I really need to let this thing cool down a little bit more There we go. It is hot. Oh man. All right, let me cut this wing off. No, so Pat just asked me if I've been injecting or anything. And no, whenever you do this, you don't need to inject anything. go so that kind of fell apart on me Let me put that back together so it looks pretty there we go nobody know except for y'all okay same thing it, yeah when I took it off it was actually like right at 160 but when you pull it off it's gonna continue to cook some so so you're gonna um so you're going to want to pull it off just a, a hair early. Uh-oh. I think I messed up my skin from my breast. I did. Ah. Uh, all right. That's all right. 
It doesn't matter. Because, ow. It's so hot. Yeah, right. All right. There we go. All right, so I'm messing my skin a little bit on my breast. But that's okay. I don't think anybody's going to complain when they're eating this bird. So I might as well just take the skin off. You know what? Now look. Look at this. This is what I wanted to show you. Look at all this meat right here. This is on the backbone. You got some of the, oh man. Some of the most flavorful meat on a bird is on that backbone. So, and it's dark meat. And I'm a dark meat man. So, look at that. Look. Dude, this bird. I know, somebody's gonna complain that I lick my fingers. But I'm a finger licker. So. Right. So, um. Let's cut this bad boy up. So, um. I don't know if y'all can see. Here, I got like a bone. I think that's part of the wishbone in there. Ow. Yeah, it is. Um, I don't know if y'all can see the uh, juice at this thing. Look at all this juice. Look. I need to like create a dam so it doesn't run off. Oh no, I'm losing it. All right, so let me create the dam back. Can y'all see that juice? Pat, can you see the juice on this? Dude. Like, mm. piece of bone. That is good. That's a good recipe. So, same thing. If you're in our group and you um, post this week um, that you did one of these recipes in the beer can chicken secrets book then um i'll choose one and that person wins any one of these prizes like and if they won it could be a beer can chicken roast right so anybody who i mentioned that won anything um get a hold of me or pat we'll make sure you get everything am i uh, forgetting to talk about anything pat Taco Challenge. Yep, so we got the Taco Challenge in the Grill Beast VIP group. If you're not in our Grill Beast VIP group, then you should be. Um, it's all cool people. We don't let assholes in. So if you're an asshole, just, um, I don't know, just really don't bother. Um, you know, honestly. Um, so, but if you're cool and you like barbecue, that's seriously the place to be. Um, and we have a taco challenge, a grilled taco challenge going on this week. The winner wins a $100 gift card plus a $40 gift card from Cajun Grocer. The $100 gift card is from grillbeast.com. Uh, then the second place is a $50 gift card from grillbeast.com. And the third place is $25 gift card, grillbeast.com. The winner of last month's share, which if you're watching this and you haven't shared, or even if you has, has have shared it, share it again. And share it to other groups that that allow that. Now, if that group doesn't allow sharing, then don't share it in that group, right? Because we don't want to piss people off. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, so, but it, normally, if you contribute to a group, they don't mind you sharing some things, um, especially when it's you know if it's useful. And I believe what we do here is so uh, share it, and then so the winner of last week's. Uh, random winner was what was the name again Pat Kevin Strawn and the one with the most shares is um, Jennifer Bates and the strawberry shortcake 
uh, submission. It goes to Rob Tuffy. And I think that is all of them. You can get the Beer Can Chicken Secrets ebook at beercanchickensecrets.com. You can get the Beer Can Chicken Roaster at grillbeast.com. But really, you should download the ebook first and then go get the roaster. Or just download the ebook and not get the roaster. It's up to you. The, the, the ebook is going to benefit you in a lot of ways. One, it's going to tell you uh, the five reasons you should not do beer can chicken the, the traditional way, the dangers that are um, inherently with that. Um, it's going to also tell you the way you should be doing your beer can chicken. It's also going to give you our 12 secrets to doing beer can chicken better than anybody else and 15 ways you can do beer can chicken beer beer can chicken so anybody in your family will love it and this was one of them um peppered smoke is the one i just did and i think that's it what time is it taco challenge all right so we're like wrapping it up taco challenge is uh submission uh, the 14th, next Saturday, 12.01 a.m. So you can do your taco all week long. You can do 10 tacos, all anything you want to do. Uh, but you can only submit one taco. So just pick your best, submit it on Saturday and Sunday, 14th and 15th. 12.01 a.m. on the 14th is when submissions start. 12 midnight on the 15th, Sunday, is when submissions end. You make your comment on the banner image that's how we count your submission if you just do a post in the group it doesn't count it doesn't count please do not post any tacos all week of any kind like nothing right really just don't do it save that submission for Saturday and Sunday even if you're not even gonna be in the challenge just save it for if you're gonna do tacos you might as well get in the challenge because you're not gonna you really don't know who's gonna win okay um, you don't have to be a pro at images. You don't have to be a pro cook, a chef, a grill master, pit master, whatever it is, to win. Um, we have winners all across the board. People who don't know how to take pictures that do. People, I mean, really, uh, you just never know. If don't don't count yourself out. Now, I guess is what I'm saying. That's it. This has been episode 33 of Feast with the Beast, and um, I'm really glad everybody showed up. Peace out and talk to you all later.